<laughs> All right, be prepared to laugh and learn because today we're delivering more educational reactions to one of your favorites of all time, The Simpsons. Yep, round five of this hilarious show is coming in hot. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff that you see here on this channel, please smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. Uh. Come on, one more long one and we can get this thing done. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so messed up. Come on, Doc. Congratulations, <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> okay, first off, kids don't come flying out like that. But it also depends on if this is your first delivery versus like your fifth delivery. Could it go quickly? Yes. But do children typically come sliding out super fast? Not really. What? Another boy? Let's part. Hmm. Well, this is unorthodox, but uh, what would you think about taking a cute baby girl instead? What? Was oh, that Maggie? Uh, died in childbirth. The uh, father is listed as 10,000 lunatics, but uh, none of them has shown up yet. A parent dying during childbirth is rare, but it does happen. You can actually have an amniotic fluid embolism, which then causes cardiovascular collapse, and then you can die that way. You could bleed out. The uterus potentially can rupture. A couple different scenarios, but again, they're rare because typically somebody who is delivering a baby is typically young and healthy. No! I should warn you, however, we uh, ran a standard newborn screen on her, and uh, she tested positive. Or evil. Evil? What the, he's already got Bart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> better than a boy. What? That was crazy. I've never seen that before. It doesn't normally work that way. There's adoptions, you know, different agencies. If you want somebody else's kid and they have to give up the kid to then be able to adopt. The first three days, I believe, there's actually a safe haven. Bring to a hospital, police department, a fire department. No questions asked. Oh, yeah. Always a Paul Bear. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my back. Oh, what? And not in a good way. Well, time to move on with our lives. Oh, Bart's gonna put him under. Oh my gosh, that's messed up. <laughs> Falling on dirt, it actually gives, so it should have some cushion, but he does look like he's a little jacked up. Homer, you have a mild back sprain. He sprained his back. Brain and strain are pretty much the same term. You sprain your ankle, right? So you've actually injured some ligaments. You strained your back, you might have pulled some muscles and injured some tendons. They all kind of overlap with each other. But do you guys know that the most common reason why people miss work in the United States? Back pain. And you also ingested a dangerous quantity of grave dirt. Well, you're always telling me I should eat more dirt. Not dirt, vegetables. <laughs> I love it. You want to eat more vegetables, which could be like roots and things like that, not dirt itself. But I will say, as we're all kids and we played around in dirt and licked our fingers and we're getting our immune systems up and running, it's actually not the worst thing in the world, but eating handfuls of dirt, no. Ugh, look, I just need to make sure your vertebrae are properly aligned. This should take what? only a minute and cost about a thousand dollars. First off, he wanted to make sure the vertebrae were aligned correctly. So he's got him strapped down to the bed. I don't know, he must be getting ready to take a picture, like an x-ray. No! No! Fascinating. <laughs> When Homer is on his back, his stomach lodges perfectly under his diaphragm. The image that he has here is not an x-ray. An x-ray is not going to show up organs like this. You'll see black areas where the lungs are and like whiter areas where the vertebrae and the heart are. And that's just because to do with density of tissue and air, that sort of thing. Giving him a powerful singing voice. Is that a real thing? It is! That's Dinner not a real thing. Kelly recorded an entire song on his back. You know, Homer, you're singing. Come on. You're, you're patient suffering and save us a fortune in Demerol. My pleasure. If ever I would leave you. It shouldn't be related. Your voice is related up in your larynx, to your vocal cord. So then the question is, is it changing position in your stomach changes the sound of your voice? Probably unlikely. Not something I deal with on a daily basis. The only time we ever hear people's voices abnormal is swelling up in, in the upper airway. Say they had a surgery which hurt their recurrent laryngeal nerve. Then you have different sounds of the voice. I told you a mosquito came out of my laughing meal and bit me. 
What's wrong with them, doctor? Mosquitoes are known for harboring disease. West Nile virus, even malaria, if you go to other countries. Most of these are viruses and they produce like a viral syndrome, malaise, fatigue, weakness, but it's not something you can easily check in a lab. It can't be mange. I just had them dipped. Mange is like something that happens in animals and wild dogs. It's almost like mites that irritate the skin. Now in humans, we get scabies. Scabies are these little insects that burrow in your skin. Your son is exhibiting classic symptoms of panda virus. Panda virus? Here, take a look. <laughs> no, my God, it looks like a panda gummy bear stuck on his arm. So many things can bite you. Most of the time it's your own reaction or you develop like an infection because it inoculates you with the bacteria that's on your skin. For a week, Bart will be highly infectious to others. So he's highly contagious. So we have different diseases like measles, it's airborne. Then you have a syphilis. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease, but it's done by contact. Different disease processes are spread differently. You'll be living in this bubble. It's clear plastic so the world can see how normal you are. <laughs> what a messed up dog. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, we don't have bubbles like that. When somebody needs to be in a bubble, so to speak, or not bubble, but quarantined, you just quarantine in your own dwelling. You don't need to be in a bubble. What is Homer running? Oh, knocked out. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. If your teeth get knocked out and you can bring them with you, please do that. Don't wash them off, just put it in. Milk, water, throw them back in your own mouth. To reattach a tooth, you actually need those ligaments intact. This injury that Homer is now having, he probably fractured his jaw. Homer, you've suffered a broken jaw. Oh man, that is a messed up device. So we don't do those kind of devices. It's almost like getting a set of braces. Weird fact, you have to keep pliers on you in case you vomit or you have any airway issues. You can pop those open real quick. <laughs> he won't be able to talk for quite some time. I've wired his jaw shut. You can actually talk when you have this device in. It just makes it a little bit harder because you're not able to accentuate what you're trying to say, but you'll be able to speak without any difficulties. It's all explained in this pamphlet. So your life is ruined. Uh, hmm. No, we don't do oh, pamphlets like that. Oh dear, you can't eat solid foods. Yep. Those are his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking out because he can't eat. Well, obviously you can just use a blender and blend your food and you'll lose some weight. Just gotta make sure you get the right nutrients. The only risk I'm taking is running out of marshmallows. <laughs> oh! Somebody get a doctor! Mark falls off the wall, nails the leg. So the question is, do you have a tibia or fibular fracture? Or is it just a contusion? I want my wife to get whoa. the best treatment money can buy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go nuts. Eh, better than uh, that. Uh, uh, that's Perfect. hilarious. If it's an emergency, you can't just request the place that you want to go. You have to go to the first medically accessible hospital in this specific emergency. Unless, say, you're having a heart attack or a stroke, you need to go to a place that has a, basically a cardiac center or a stroke center where they actually have the right doctors and equipment and treatment for you in those situations. Well, as you can see, it's a compound fracture. Oh, I hate this word. The fracture is something called comminuted. Comminuted meaning it's broken up into multiple pieces. Now, she's in a full cast. If you put a hard cast, which is either made up of either plaster or paris, these materials are hard as a rock. So if you continue to swell underneath, say in a day or two, you're gonna be in so much pain. In the emergency department, when you actually get a fracture, we put you in a splint to allow the swelling and we'll wrap it. And then this way, in a week or two, when you go follow up with the orthopedic surgeon, you'll have a cast put on at that point. The leg must remain motionless, otherwise a hunk of bone could zoom right to her brain. No, this doctor, come on, dude. A bone piece is not gonna go to your brain. It's just gonna stay in the tissue right there. The main thing is for you to get better. And don't worry, all the laundry and dirty dishes will be there when you get back. Oh, you know, so long. thanks, Bart. We'll all pitch it on the housework, right, guys? Guys? <laughs> get that! <laughs> <laughs> so no, the IV fluid bags do not come pressurized like that. To pressurize and have it squirt out like that, you actually need to have a pump on the bag. We have machines that will actually help suck the fluid through and push it through. <laughs> Good lord, you're wasting thousands of dollars worth of interferon. And you're interferon with our good time. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Homer. I love it. Interferon is basically a type of medication you can use to treat viruses. Marge wouldn't need interferon. She would just need fluids and pain medicine and maybe an antibiotic if there's an open fracture. Well, I'll be. 
That cured my canker sores. If you get shot in the mouth and it's there for like a split second, you spit it out, you're probably fine. It's almost like, right, like Listerine, right? You have it in your mouth, you spit it out, you don't want to swallow it, but if you accidentally swallow it, you'll probably be okay. Same thing, you'll probably be fine, but who's swallowing interferon that's not under medical care for a specific reason? This was hilarious. I love the symptoms. These are older episodes. I really, really enjoyed it. Please let me know if there's scenes from different Simpson shows that I need to check out. If you guys enjoyed me reacting to this, check out this series of of me reacting to The Simpsons. I know you're gonna like it. And as always, subscribe, hit those like buttons, turn those bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, my friends.